goddamn shed is getting too full. There's so much shit in here. Like, Jesus Christ, look at this. Everyone has a drawer full of crap. Who the hell has a shelf? Garden flag. Yay, go Ireland. Balsa wood. Jesus, I don't even know when I bought this. Oh, college CAO farm. Nice. Pencil. Balsa wood. Random blocks of wood. Jesus Christ. Anybody need a spare plug? Where the hell did all this crap come out of? A sponge. A sponge for sponge. I'm gonna clean all this shit up and I know exactly what this shelf needs. You know, I've always thought of myself as a scaven guy. I love those little ratty creatures. I like to think of myself as the proclaimed scaven rat king. But what kind of rat would I be if I didn't have this little space dedicated in my shed? This shed that is the best shed in the whole of Ireland. Shed Magazine gave it shed of the year. So I finally decided to clean all the crap off this shelf. And believe it or not, I'm actually running out of space in this shed. I've got so much stuff here, but I need to dedicate this little spot just to my scaven brethren. I'm going to build a nice little display here. I'm going to have everything lined up. And then if I need more space, I'm just going to add a couple more shelves as well to add into it. So stay tuned till the end of this video and we get a final look at what this, what this display is going to look like. Alright, so I finally have... Well, not everything, but close enough to everything up on the shelf. There was a couple of things that I didn't really want to pull up yet. Um, like I have a box of old school uh, clan rats that I haven't painted yet. There's a box of plague monks there somewhere. Still has to be painted up. So I didn't want to put them up on it yet. Especially since like this filled up pretty quick. I want to kind of save space for things that I have painted or big models. Uh, so we start off in the corner here. So we have this little, I want to add more terrain, like this is only the beginning of this whole shelf. Uh, I'll probably have to put more up along here like I said earlier. Uh, I'll fill it out and make it look nicer. So um, this little kind of cardboard terrain corner building that I started working on a while ago. I just stuck that in the corner and I have my converted assassin, my converted debt runner there as well. Kind of representing clan Asian. And then you have the, I think it's the gutter runners, or the night runners, the unit under there, which I hate that model, so I kind of took them away in the corner. Um, and they're, of course, being led by one of the debt runners as well. He's pretty badass, so I like to have him out in the front. Nice and easy to see. And then we have two units of 10 clan rats. All of them are painted and finished and everything. A couple of them might need bases colored, but that's pretty much it. Uh, then I, I kind of wanted to scatter the heroes around a bit so we have uh well he used to be a warlock engineer um i can't think of what he's called now but he's there we have two rat ogres which someday i really wish i would get a lot more of but the two island of blood ones or spire of dawn as it is now they they're gonna have to do with their pack master in behind them as well then moving up we have two special teams in the back uh, here we have the Games Day Metal Warlord model. It's kind of stuck him in there. And then we move on to my unit of... Let me see. The light's a bit funny here. I don't want to get my shadow all over it. We have the unit that I converted up to Skaven Zombies. Uh, really happy with them. Some of them are on circle ba or round bases. I would like to get all of them converted up onto that eventually. Uh, they're being led by the converted Warlord. So I'm really happy how they look. You have the Empire guy on the back of them and everything. And then we move on to kind of the big guys. I had to kind of just put all these at the end because I really had no... I really... I set up here first and I really didn't want to move all these units again. So for now they're just at the end. We have my Hell Pit Abomination with a Packmaster. We have my Converted Hell Pit Abomination which I haven't shown in a while actually. Um, we have the two Skaven heads on that. 
Uh, I think recently I just stuck that axe on him and I put a couple of holes through it to make it look like an old worn out axe. Um, I converted Hero, which I changed the gun and I gave him a banner. So I really like him, he looks pretty cool there. Here we have another Warlord from the Spire of Dawn site. Well, the old uh, Island of Blood. We have my Vermin Lord, the Deceiver for Clan Eshin, of course. Um, and then finally the leader of the whole army we have Bone Ripper or Tankwell and Bone Ripper um, and it kind of got me thinking the only I've like for a while I've been missing the model I've been missing the Gracer model I did have this one this guy but then I converted them up um, Tankwell is a Gracer but I want to have a Gracer model by himself so I have a couple of things I still want to work on I have a unit of Plague Monks uh, a unit of storm vermin and let me think let me think i want to have this idea for a gracer which i'll get done eventually so then i will have a gracer for the army uh, as well as a few other ideas but for now this is pretty much it i don't have no idea how many points this is um i'll get around to working it out someday but uh, it's a decent start i want to build another shelf um maybe just kind of do this whole square first and then build up that side and see how I go from there. So yeah, that was pretty fun to get all these out of the boxes to have a look at my whole Skaven army. It's a hell of a lot less than I thought I would have had. But I have no, like I have a few big monsters, but I have no warp lighting cannon. I don't have a catapult to play claw catapult. Um, I only have two rat ogres. I don't have any of the newer rat ogre guys. Um, like this whole army is huge. There's like loads of things I different have. I don't have. Um, but you know I'm going to be adding to that over the next couple of years I would like another Varman Lord model um, yeah so I'll see you from there but anyway if you like this video if you kind of like the layout of the shelf it's just a starting point for now hopefully the light is okay look at the setup I have to do for the lights to try and get a half decent here but I'm glad I have them out it was just this whole sh shelf was just a waste of space there's like nothing but crap on it as you've seen at the start so i'm happy to be using it for something uh but it's a good starting point i'm going to build onto it more and more uh but for now it's just going to be scaven um if you guys liked it make sure to hit the like button and comment below let me know what you guys think and uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video